Alita Battle Angel, Episode 236, A Heart in Iron City. Character List. Alita Rosa Salazar, Christoph Waltz, Hugo, Kian Johnson, Arika, Nana Komatsu, Nano, Chicha Amatayakul, Lin, Lana Condor, Hoot, Cybernetic Owl, Echo, Cybernetic Fox. Scene 1. The Morning Light. The sun broke over Iron City, casting a golden glow on the bustling streets below. Alita, stretching her limbs and yawning, caught a glimpse of the city through the window. The hum of activity filled the air, and she felt an electric thrill at the prospect of the day ahead. Hey, everyone, she called out, her voice echoing in the shared space of Doc Ido's house. Anyone up for breakfast? Hugo stumbled in, ruffling his hair. I'm starving, he mumbled, rubbing the sleep from his eyes. Scene 2. Doc Ido's Big Day. In the corner of the kitchen, Doc Ido meticulously prepared coffee, a nervous smile tugging at the corners of his mouth. Today was special. He had plans to meet a woman he had been talking to for weeks, a brilliant mechanic named Lena, known for her expertise and fierce independence. Doc, you're looking awfully chipper, Alita teased, catching a glimpse of the twinkle in his eye. Doc Ito chuckled, a light flush creeping onto his cheeks. Just a busy day ahead. Busy, huh? Arika said, entering the kitchen with Nano and Lin in tow, smoke curling from her cigarette. What's the deal? You've got a date or something? Scene three. The plan? I wouldn't call it a date, Doc Ito replied, avoiding eye contact. Just a meeting. She's a good mechanic. Nano smirked. Good mechanics can be hard to find, Doc. You better not blow it. Lynn nudged Nano playfully. Let the man enjoy his moment. All right, enough of this, Doc Ito said, trying to shift the topic. We need to focus on the mission for today. Alita leaned closer, intrigued. What's the plan? Nash. Scene four, briefing from headquarters, Hugo, now fully awake, tapped away on his comms device, establishing a connection with the other members of the group. Hey, we've got intel on some unusual activity near the south side of Iron City, he announced. We should check it out while we're waiting. Sounds good. We can split up, Alita suggested. Doc, you take the lead with Lena. The rest of us will investigate. Doc Ido nodded, feeling the weight of his responsibilities. I can handle both. Scene five, the meeting point. Later that morning, Doc Ito found himself at a bustling marketplace, the heart of Iron City alive with chatter and energy. He spotted Lena at a small workshop, her grease-stained hands deftly working on a motorcycle. Her short, dark hair framed her face, and her focused expression drew him in. Doc Ito, she greeted with a smile, wiping her hands on a rag. You made it. Of course, he replied, feeling an unusual flutter in his chest. I wouldn't miss it. Scene six, a connection sparks sinks. They began discussing machinery, their shared passion igniting a connection. Doc Ito was surprised at how easily they fell into conversation, their laughter mixing with the sounds of the market. Most people think mechanics are just about fixing things, but it's an art, Lena said, her eyes shining with enthusiasm. It's about understanding the soul of the machine. Well, Doc Ito felt his heart race. You're right, every piece has a story, and I've always believed in making things better, not just fixing them. <laughs> Scene seven, a twinge of doubt. Just then, a group of thugs swaggered past, leering at Lena. Doc Ito felt his boil as they made crude comments. But Lena rolled her eyes, clearly used to their antics. Just ignore them, she said dismissively, but Doc Ito wasn't having it. Hey, he shouted, stepping forward, fists clenched. Back off! The thugs chuckled, sizing him up. What's this? A little doctor trying to play hero? Nash scene eight, a show of strength. Before things could escalate, Alita, Arika, Nano, and Lin arrived, sensing the tension. Doc, you okay? Alita called out, her eyes scanning the situation. Yeah, just handling a little trash, Doc Ito replied, not taking his eyes off the thugs. Arika smirked, stepping forward, her katana gleaming in the sunlight. You boys want to take this somewhere else? The thugs backed off, the bravado fading as they recognized the team. We'll be watching, one of them spat before they slunk away. Scene 9. The Aftermath. With the threat gone, Lena turned to Doc Ito, a mixture of admiration and concern on her face. You didn't have to do that, you know. I couldn't just stand there, Doc Ito replied, feeling a flush of embarrassment. I, I care about you. Lena smiled, her eyes softening. I appreciate that. Most don't stand up for me. Then I'll always have your back, he vowed, the moment stretching between them. <laughs> Scene 10. 
a toast to new beginnings. That evening, the group found themselves back at Doc Ito's house. The atmosphere relaxed and filled with warmth. Lena had joined them, and the night felt electric with new possibilities. To new friends and stronger connections. Alita raised her glass, the others joining in. As they shared stories and laughter, Doc Ito and Lena exchanged glances, a mutual understanding blossoming in the air. The city outside buzzed with life, but in that moment, they felt as if they were the only two people in Iron City. To be continued.